Hey, this is Isar with UX in Motion, and I'm going to show you how to resize your UI animation to any composition size in After Effects. Okay, so why is this important? Well, sometimes you just need to resize your stuff. I've had to go up resolution and down, and if you do it like the manual way, you're making like a new composition or like duplicating it and then just like resizing stuff. I've done that and I actually didn't know that there's a very, very simple, easy way to do it in After Effects that'll save you a lot of time. Now it's not, now most of the time it's perfect. I'll, let me say that first. Occasionally it's not. So I wanted to show you an example where it's not quite perfect and how to fix it. So also if you like this video, um, subscribe to my channel, hit like, do all that cool, uh, YouTube stuff that you do, and also click to download this source file and uh, follow along. And this project that we're looking at is from a previous blog post. Um, I kind of went crazy with it with some uh, like 3D, but I'm, I, I wanted to show this little interaction here because what we're talking about fundamentally is um, just changing the size. And um, so I've got a camera here and a light, and obviously you're not gonna have all that kind of stuff on most of your UI uh, like animation projects. But on more complex things, I wanted to show you how this works. So what you can do is simply click to click your composition, duplicate it. Um, oh, and uh, by the way, if you are wanting to learn After Effects and do UI animation stuff, I have a, a free fast start course for you. You can click below in the description, click that. I'll give you the whole course for free. It's just for UX and UI and product designers uh, who've never used uh, like After Effects and who like have a project and they need to like make something fast and look great. So this course will get you there. So make sure you click and watch that uh, if you need to. Okay. So I clicked on my composition, I hit Command D, and I'll just rename it. So I hit Return, and I'll call it Small, or let's call it actually like 1280p. And I know I'm using like film resolution, you know, like 1080p and like uh, 720p, you're probably gonna be using actual screen sizes. But say you have to resize to dribble, right? So I'm gonna say like 800 by 600, or more appropriately, I'm just gonna say dribble. Okay, cool. So now make sure you double click that uh, composition. I'll tell you, I've been doing this for years and I keep for, and sometimes I'll forget to do that and I'll resize it and it'll be the original composition and I'll have to either undo it or just rename stuff. So make sure you double click that first. Cool. Now go up to file scripts where it says scale composition. Just click that. This is magic. Now you have three options. You can do a, a scale factor, a width or a height. So in this case, because it's not a factor, because dribble is actually a different aspect ratio, I'm gonna wanna choose width. So I'm gonna go 800, because it's gonna be 800 by 600. I'll, I'll click scale. Now we have to do two things to fix this. So the first is, that's the most obvious, is I have to change the canvas size. So I'm gonna hit Command K. And in height, I'm just gonna put 600. Now you can just render it out, but you'll see that there's kind of a weird thing that the effect that I had here kind of changed. And the reason is because it worked, it was like a, like a blur thing that worked at a large size, but now it, it uh, doesn't work at this size so great. So what you can do is you can um, go back to your composition and you can fix this. You can actually fix the, um, fix the layering here, um, the effect. So if, if you go back to your adjustment layer, uh, you'll see that it's just like totally got all weird now. And what you can do is make adjustments to your adjustment layer. So I'm just gonna back off my blur here effect. So you may have to kind of customize, like re-customize your effect again. But then when I go back to dribble, um, I've fixed that. Now the other thing that you'll see is that the camera itself, the focus distance has also changed. So what you'll wanna do, if you have a camera, if you don't, you can just skip the rest of this part, but I'm gonna show you real quick how to fix this. So what I would do is where it says view here, one view, I'm gonna say two views horizontal, and I'm just gonna zoom in. And this is just the camera with um, uh, my layer. And I can see that my focus is way, way far away now. So if you click your camera layer and hit AA, or just A twice, you'll see in the stack here, this thing that says focus distance, just click that and just start dragging. You can drag it to the left, you can drag it to the left, and you can sort of see in your composition where it's going to hit. And this is kind of your uh, composition right here, and you focus distance. And I can just choose where I want this to go. I'm gonna set this right here for now, because I just wanna be quick and not waste a lot of your time. 
So I've changed the focus distance and I've changed the effect here in uh, like After Effects. And so that's how you would resize your, your composition is using this script. So again, you go to File, Scripts, Scale Composition. Now always remember, duplicate and rename your composition first and then double click it or else you're gonna be doing it to the one that you're already in, which is a problem. So I hope you like this. I hope you got some value from this. Um, I didn't know this for the longest time. I just discovered it. So I'm super excited to share it with you. Um, and this will get you all different uh, uh, like composition sizes. Again, if you like this video, if you want to learn more UI animation with After Effects stuff from me, Isara, and my site, uh, UX Emotion, just click subscribe and then click the like button. And uh, I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks so much.